Okay. I'm very excited for this. Just a quick one for everyone. Have fun. Be safe. Stay professional. And give them a bloody good show. Alright, fucking have fun. Come on. Come on. And just to add, yours is the opening match. You've got to get them so fired up. I will be hyping. This is effectively a main event. Uh, bit quiet, we need to win the Carl Kennedy against Donny Franchise. Wrestling Appreciation Society versus Nonstop Action Wrestling for the Young Blood title. I train these people up to become the best versions of themselves. And I see both sides. I see Carl Kennedy, the lawman. Everything he's been able to do since he was part of Nonstop Action Wrestling. Everything he has done to get to where he is. I don't like him, but I can respect the drive that he has. I can respect the determination in that man's face, agenda, everything he does. But I can't be unbiased, truly. I've seen Donny Franchise, I've seen how he works, I've seen the pure dedication. I look into that man's eyes, and I can see that this this is more than just something he wants to do as a hobby. This is his life. He takes that heart, that determination, that confidence, that charisma, and he brings it up to the next level. Carl Kennedy's going to have the worst time facing off against him. He might win, but when I say might, it's not an assured outcome. Donny Franchise has just as much chance of walking out as the young blood champion in that match. And you don't often say that about these things. He's coming in as the relative newcomer. I've seen him train from ground level to where he is right now. And he has shown such growth, such potential. We have a saying at Nonstop Action Wrestling. Nonstop, never stop. And that's exactly what both of these individuals are doing, but more so, what Donny Franchise is doing. My name is Sammy Rice. I'm here uh, originally out of necessity. I, we needed somebody to ref our wrestling show and I was like, well, I'll do it. Everyone else is going to want to wrestle. I'm happy being a ref. I didn't <laughs> fancy getting hurt. So I've yeah, been following Donny's uh, wrestling journey from the very start, really, since, since he first stepped into the ring. I was actually at his first training session and I've followed him from those first few steps in the ring to like the, the trials, the tribulations, the failures, but also the successes. His first ever match, putting on the show with him today. Yeah, I've been there from uh, day zero. Well, not quite day zero. Brad's been there since day zero. I've been there since day sort of, say, 0. 0.5. Do you think Donny would take things too seriously? It's, it's a concern. Like, I'm worried that he's got our match today with someone who was his best friend, and I'm worried that that match is going to get quite brutal and it will, they'll really be out there to show each other that they need business.
wrestling is a very serious sport. If you don't take it seriously, you or anyone else could get injured very easily. And if he keeps taking it like he is as a joke to him, then someone is going to get seriously hurt. Everyone knows it. Everyone's always worried about getting in the ring with him. Not because he's a good wrestler and he's going to put you through your paces, but because he's going to get someone seriously injured or worse. But these things do happen. Carl is better and he knows what he's doing. This is hard work. It's very hard work. It's not an easy job to do. These things happen. Right? You will find this is not your fault. Uh, looks like Kyle Kennedy's taken a uh, bulldog, landed awkwardly, and uh, the ref's done his job perfectly. Um, called the match as they should, stop further injuries. Uh, to be honest, Kyle probably could have continued, but the ref would not have allowed him. It's going, it's going well, really well. The crowd's on fire, they hated me, they love Travis. But again, shit happens. And uh, luckily, I had a great team, you know, and uh, great people around me helping me out. Uh, quite literally pulling my fat ass out of the ring, and uh, whew, so now I'm off to hospital. So, but yeah, wrestling is very, very real, and it fucking hurts. But yeah, I love you all. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very, very soon. This ain't keeping me down for long. I don't agree with the society of methods, but I do agree with the middle class. Look, I know you're struggling, Trav. It's been a month since your match, and I know the result didn't go the way you wanted it to. But you cannot allow this fictional part of your life to blend in with your reality. Did you ever think about what we discussed last week? I'm retiring. Ultimately, mate, that is your decision. One bad match doesn't mean a bad career. Okay, yeah, you're going through a rough patch now, we all do. But what is important in life is not what knocks us down, it's how we get back up. Okay? And what I see in you is the fight to get back up. I believe that you'll come back stronger and show everyone what the franchise is about. But that's the thing, Doc. People don't forget. They're never going to forget the day the franchise walked out of that arena and held his head down in shame. April 29th. That's the day. It's the day the franchise died. So, we, uh, we still have 15 minutes if you would like to use the time. Let's discuss something positive that happened this week to end our session. Your normal fee? Thanks, Doc. For everything. <laughs>